Gone are the days when the lives of royal families in the Middle East were not made public under the excuse of strict protocol. In today's digital age, where information is just a click away, things have changed for the better. Royals no longer live a remote existence away from the masses they rule. Instead, they embrace progressive attitudes and share their once cloistered lives with the world through social media. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai, who lives life to the fullest, in clear view of his 8.8 .8 million Instagram followers. He attended Dubai's Rashid School for Boys and the Dubai School of Government. For further studies, he attended Britain's Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, where he graduated in 2001 after undergoing rigorous training designed to instill self-discipline, commitment, virtue, responsibility, endurance, and teamwork. Sheikh Hamdan also pursued further academic studies at the London School of Economics and is known to loved ones and close friends as Faza, the same nickname he publishes poetry under. Away from his professional commitments, Sheikh Hamdan has demonstrated an instinct for the extreme. He is a skyscraper jumper, as evidenced on his Instagram page, and he also enjoys diving, jetpacks, and zip lines. The net worth of the Al Maktoum family is estimated to be around 5 billion US dollars. As an Emirati, Sheikh Hamdan's love for horses is palpable, and he proudly owns some 1,000 of them all over the world. After all, he is an award-winning horse rider, as the namesake of the Dubai Crown Prince Camel Festival. He also boasts more than 120 camels at his farm, as well as big cats he apparently enjoys playing with. He is also a keen world traveler, with his own chartered plane taking him to different corners of the globe. This is where his passion for photography comes into its own. In Arabic culture, it is allowed to marry a cousin. As a result, Faza married his cousin, Sheikh Abit Saeed bin Thani Al Maktoum, in 2019. His brothers Maktoum and Ahmad also got married on the same day. Along with his brothers, he celebrated royal weddings together at the Dubai World Trade Center. On May 21, 2021, it was announced that Sheikh Hamdan and his spouse had welcomed twins. He named his twins Rashid and Sheikha, a son and a daughter. In Islam, the wife's role is to be her husband's equal partner, supporter and helper in life and their spiritual journey together. With so much wealth to spend, it's unsurprising to learn that Sheikh Hamdan has a fleet of luxury vehicles in his garage. In addition, he has a yacht which is believed to be the third largest in the entire world. For $35 million, you can own a piece of royal history. This super yacht named Dubai, the vessel was built in 1989 by Cantier and Aval Ferrari. However, for the first half of its nautical life, it was used as a cruise ship. Once the current owner acquired it in 2009, the ship was renovated by Platinum Yachts into a private superyacht. Since undergoing a two-year multi-million dollar refit, the boat has notably only had one owner, a rare feature for a ship of this size and class. Because of this, few people other than those invited on board have been able to see the inside, making the boat one of the most private of its category. Sailing at more than 297 feet long, the massive vessel has 22 staterooms, has a gross tonnage of 4,184 and a volume similar to that of a 110-meter yacht. Its tremendous size leaves plenty of room for luxurious amenities, including a nightclub with a lighted dance floor, a guest lounge, two salons, an elevator, a fountain, a swimming platform, a hospital room, and a private owner's deck with 180-degree views and a jacuzzi. Though the yacht's features are no doubt impressive, they're not necessarily unusual for a vessel of this category. However, the Art Deco interior design and decor of the space, full of rich purples, blues, greens, and oranges, is something you don't see every day. In addition to the vibrant hues, the ship is also full of geometric patterns and stately furniture. And if the yacht's layout isn't exactly what the new owner desires, there is plenty of square footage in both of the salons to rearrange the space to include new features like a game room or theater. The ship underwent various maintenance checks before being put on the market to ensure its smooth sailing when handed over to whoever acquires it next. As a seeker of thrills, he has an enviable collection of six amphibious cars known as the Python. He owns an extraordinary collection of tanks, which he is able to take for a drive in the vast sands around Dubai. 
He also has a Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse and Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. To one surprise, Shea Camdon also has an unbelievable number of golden cars, including a Lamborghini and Range Rover, as well as a Bentley Bentayga and an entire fleet of Rolls-Royce motors. Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum has been the crown prince of Dubai since 2008, and his car collection is worth having a look at. He has so much money that he decided to encase some of his cars in gold. Here is a list of some of the gold-plated cars he is presumed to own and their approximate values. Porsche Spider, $5.8 million. Lamborghini, $7.5 million. Mercedes truck, $9.6 million. Range Rover, $3.2 million. Rolls-Royce, $8.2 million. Custom-made Rolls-Royce, $14 million. Nissan GTR, $1.4 million. Bugatti Veyron, $9.2 million. Ferrari 360 Marina, $3.2 million. That is just the list of his gold-plated cars. He has a whole fleet of other very expensive automobiles in his collection. They sure catch the sunlight and turn heads. Lamborghini Veneno The first supercar in a car collection of FASA is the Lamborghini Veneno. It is one of the rarest automobiles from the Italian supercar maker. Under its hood sits a 6.5-liter V12 engine that produces 750 horsepower of peak power, propelling the supercar from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. The top speed is limited to 220 miles per hour. The most exclusive thing about this supercar is the fact that only 13 units were ever produced. Rolls-Royce Wraith No car collection can ever be complete without some model of the iconic Rolls-Royce in it, and Faza is no different. He owns a Rolls-Royce Wraith. It comes powered by a 6.6-liter twin-turbocharged V12 engine that churns out a healthy 624 horsepower and 605 pound-feet of peak power and torque. This powerful engine allows an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. Rolls-Royce is a sign of ultimate opulence, which is why most top celebrities opt for it. Mercedes G63 AMG The final vehicle in the car collection of Faza is the Mercedes G63 AMG. It is commonly referred to as the G-Wagon. It is one of the most unique SUVs in the world that combines luxury with off-road prowess. It comes with a 4.0-liter V8 engine that produces a massive 577 horsepower of peak power, allowing a top speed of 136 miles per hour. There is a sophisticated 4x4 drivetrain to propel it over any terrain, with a price tag of $157,500. It can reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 4.5 seconds. With the exception of maybe one trip a year to London on Emirates to promote the airline, Sheikh Mohammed and Prince Fatsa always fly privately. They own a fleet of planes and helicopters. Among the planes, the ultimate boss of the sky, Boeing 747 BBJ, a 6HRM, which is worth $260 million, and Boeing 747 BBJ, a 6MMM, worth $110 million, are one of a kind. Recently, the Prince's private jet has been spotted parked at Air Canada's South Hangar at Vancouver International Airport since Sunday, December 28th. Sheikh and Don missed Dubai's extravagant New Year's Eve celebrations, opting to instead renting in 2015 in downtown Vancouver, where no public celebrations were held. On the morning of his first day in the city, he ran the Stanley Park seawall as in Turridge. Since January 1st, according to his Instagram photos, the prince has been skiing at Whistler Blackcom. The 32-year-old is the son and heir apparent of Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and monarch of the Gulf Arab Emirate of Dubai. He is a graduate of the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and the London School of Economics and won the gold medal in equestrian at the 2006 Asian Games. During his other trips to Vancouver in March 2013 and April 2014, he visited the Capilano Suspension Bridge. His Whistler itinerary included snow wobbling and dog sledding. The Prince's entourage is known as big spenders during their visits to the city and usually travel to and from Whistler by helicopter. It is not known when they will leave, 
although they have previously stayed in the region for as long as a week. And that is all for today's video. If you have enjoyed this informative video, drop us a like and then hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell icon. What would you like to have someday? A yacht, a private jet, or a garage full of expensive cars? Let us know in the comment section. See you next time.